now that we know how to guard a route, let's go and uh, implement the logout so we can at least have our users be able to say, I'm done, I don't want to do with this anymore. And if anybody attempts to do something, uh, just return a 401 error, not authorized or unauthorized, and uh, then um, they have to log back in again. So we're gonna do this back into users. Uh, I'm gonna create a brand new route for this. This is gonna be a pub function, uh, log, a pub async function. Log out. And I'm gonna go ahead and go back into mod and bring this in. So here's our users. Log out and route slash users log out. Uh, I want this to be a post and we're gonna put log out. Okay, what are we? What do we need for this? Well, we need um, uh, we need that that token coming in, so we know we're gonna have the um, authorization token. Authorization. Uh, that's going to be the uh, typed header. Authorization uh, bearer. Um, we need the database, so we need the extension with the database. Uh, is there anything else that we need? I don't necessarily think so because we're not really taking anything in besides this authorization here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna return a result. Um, I don't need to return anything if we're successful and if we're uh, if we do not succeed, if something goes wrong, we're gonna return a status code. Okay, um, what are we gonna do here? Well, let's first start with this to-do so it doesn't yell at us too much. Uh, oh, cannot find bear in a scope. Let's pull you in. So import bear. Okay, everything's happy here. So uh, how we're going to handle logout. Uh, we need to find the user from the database, convert it into a active user or active model and then delete the token and resave that. Uh, so first off, we guard the entire route. So let uh, user equals, uh, we know that this is gonna be an if let sum, so I'm just gonna write that out right away. So if let sum user equals, uh, we're gonna use users, we want to find we're going to filter users column. Uh, we want this by the token. Token uh, to be equal to, well, we need the actual token here. So let token equals authorization. Let's get the token. Um, oh, this needs to be a sum. Okay, uh, we do that. Then we we want to get one of it. Oh, we need to pass in the database. We then need to await. Uh, we're gonna map the error. Uh, and we're gonna return a status code of internal server, okay. Okay, so at this point we have the user, so I just want to return that out. Uh, otherwise, we didn't find the user, so we're gonna return an error with a status code of um, unauthorized. Okay, we have our user, it's a, well, it's just a model. Well, okay, so if we get the user and the next thing we need to do is we need to remove the, uh, we need to remove the token from it. So I'm gonna ask you to do an into active model here. So now we have an active model as our user. Uh, we can set you as mutable. 
and we want to now delete or set the uh, token to be null. So we're going to use user dot token uh, is equal to well, how do we set this as to be null? Because can I just set this to be null? So I don't think I can set this to be set null. Um, uh, uh, and there we can set this to be like maybe a none. I don't know. Like we have to do set. Uh, set. Because if I do a none, well, I guess like this should this should handle it, right? So we want this to be set to be a none because it was going to be an option for this one, anyways. Okay, so there we go. We're happy you. We are going to save this next. So uh, user dot save, uh, pass it a reference to the database. Um, we want to await. Can map the error. Um, again, if this fails, it's our fault. So we want to have this be a status code of internal server error. And we can question mark that. And if we get all the way to the bottom, instead of to do, we're going to return an OK. OK. So we should be able to log out now. Uh, let's go in and double check this. So in Thunder Client, we have we had that create task. I still have the uh, uh, the bear oh the bear token. I added some in here, didn't I? I think that was it, right? So one more. There it goes. Okay, so this this works. Now, if I take you, let's create a brand new uh, route in here. So new request. Uh, this is gonna be log out. We want to post to HTTP localhost port three thousand. Users log out. Uh, for the auth, we want a bear. Throw in our token. We hit send. Okay, we get a 200 okay. If we go back to create task and I try to create this again, we get a 401 unauthorized because that token's been removed from the user's, uh, well, the user, like the user's row in the database, which means they're no longer authorized, which means we have to log in again and get a brand new token in order for this to work. So that's showing logout. We are now successfully able to log out from our uh, from our app and uh, require a user to log in once again. Um, all right. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful, and see you next video. Bye.